guys, this is Sahil from Grown Steak and this is a video on how to update Moto E to the latest version of Android, that's Android Lollipop 5.0. Now the Lollipop update has not yet been released for the phone, but what you can do is flash the soak test that's floating around web right now for Moto E and try Lollipop if you want. Now the performance on the Lollipop update is pretty good as I tested, so I suggest that you should give it a try and if you want then you can even go back to KitKat if you don't like it. Now this is the XD thread that guides you through all of the process, I'm just going to help you do the whole thing. The first thing that you need is the stock ROM for your Moto E. Now it doesn't matter whether you have a custom ROM or you have a stock ROM that's rooted, what you need to do is you need to restore your phone to 4.4.4 stock. Now the factory image firmware link has a lot of firmware so you need to choose the one that's right for you so you can go ahead and download it and save it on your personal machine now after this you will have to copy the code that will help you through the process of restoration for this you can copy the code from this thread and you can paste it in a text document that's what I'm doing and you can save it as a bad file make sure that it's a bad file otherwise it won't execute and your phone won't restore so let's name it as auto.bat yeah, it's done. Now I just copy it to the main folder where my firmware is. And yeah, there's one more thing. Make sure that you have the MFOS boot drivers installed on your system. If you don't have them, no worries. I'll leave the link in the description below and you can go ahead and download them anytime you want. And there's one more alternative to copying the code and saving it as a .bat. There's one zip file attached in the thread. I'll leave the link to that too in the description below so you can download it from there if you don't want to do the manual process. Now I'll click on that .bat file and press enter. Now I'll connect my phone in the fast boot mode. To do that, you have to press power button and the volume down button together. Once you enter the fast boot, connect your, connect your USB cable to your phone and to your PC and run the dot .bat file. It should do the process of restoring your phone. Yeah, that's it. My restoration process has completed and now my phone is restored to Android 4.4.4 KitKat stock version that came with the phone. Now it does not have root or anything like that or not even a custom recovery. Now after this the first thing that we need to do is download the soak test OTA update.zip and the recovery too. Now I have downloaded the recovery and I am going to power off my phone and open it in the fast boot mode. Again to do that you have to press the power button and the volume down button together and leave them together. Yeah, that's it. It has entered the fast boot. Now the next step is that you need to connect your USB cable to the phone and to the PC. After that, open a terminal using shift and right click in the folder that you have your recovery in and write fast boot flash recovery recovery.img. Now recovery.img is the name of the recovery. Now the recovery has installed as you can see on my phone screen. So now I'll just boot into the recovery by tapping volume down once and then volume up to select the recovery option. Now this is the team win recovery, make sure that you install the team win recovery as the Lollipop OTA update method does not work with any other recovery. I'll just go to install and find my OTA update and flash it. Yeah so it's working now. Now this installation process will take a lot of time, probably somewhere around 15 to 20 minutes. So you can just leave your phone and come back and it will have installed. You don't need to worry about it. If you feel that your phone has stuck somewhere in between, then it's not like that. It takes some time to install the new files. Now I will just skip through this part of the video. That's it. The lollipop has installed. There's a success message. Now we have to wipe the cache. It's not necessary to wipe the cache, but I always wipe my caches and it's a very good thing. So you can go for it too. Now the phone has rebooted and the phone is booting up. Now the first installation will take a lot of time, there is an Android dialog. Yeah, this is the dialog box that comes when you update your phone to Lollipop. So it means that Lollipop has finally installed, now I'll just boot it, I just want to try how it looks like. Yeah, this is the lock screen, so finally we have Lollipop on our Moto E. I suggest that you guys go for this update and the soak test is not bad at all. In fact, it has a better performance than the stock KitKat. It even has a lot of added functionality and I think it personally is very smooth and has a better battery life. I've been using Lollipop for two days and I haven't felt anything wrong in this. Being a soak test, it should have some bugs and all that stuff but for now, I don't feel there's anything big that you need to worry about and it has a better back battery backup and it has more free RAM available. Now I'll just go to the about phone settings to make sure that it's the 5.0.2 version. Yeah, this is 5.0.2 version and the model number is Moto E. So that's all guys. If you liked my video, just give me a thumbs up. If there are any questions that you want to ask, you can ask them in the comment section below. I'll make sure that I answer to all of your questions. 
you can even follow me on twitter and you can ask me anything there too i have a video that's coming up fast and it will be to downgrade your moto e lollipop to android 4.4 kitkat stock just in case you don't like lollipop then you can revert back anytime you want and there won't be any problems so you can check out that video too and there's one more video and that's on how to root lollipop for moto e so make sure that you check out all those videos too do subscribe to my channel it means a lot to me thanks for watching my videos this is chronstick signing out